guys, for those of you that are new here, hi, my name is Anna and I am a second year English student at Clare College, Cambridge University. I held a poll over on my Instagram and on here and it is by popular vote that I have made today's video. It is a room tour of my second year room at Clare College. I am currently living in Memorial Court, which is a part of Clare College that is normally reserved for first years. However, I'm living in Claire's disabled room this year and that is in Memorial Court. I did film a room tour last year. I think I actually filmed two um, as part of my moving vlogs and I've been told by a lot of freshers this year that they were really helpful because it's actually impossible to find photos of the, what the rooms look like here in Claire. And for me, I remember that I turned up for the beginning of first year and I moved in and that was the first time I had any idea what my room looked like. I didn't even know that I was getting a separate lounge and bedroom. So I made that video to sort of share what those sorts of rooms look like and I've been told that that was really helpful. So I'm hoping that this video will be helpful for people too. But that's enough blabbering from me. Let me get on with showing you what my room looks like. So this is Memorial Court, which is the part of Clare College that I live in. And you can see my full college tour on my channel. I'll either put it in the description below or link it on screen. So I am living in the wheelchair accessible staircase and we have this ramp to get into the staircase. And this is what the staircase itself looks like. I'm living on the bottom floor, but there are three floors, I believe, to this staircase. And some people live in the attics, which have been renovated into rooms. And through this window, you can see X staircase, which is some of the newest rooms in Clare. And now I'll show you to my actual room itself. My room this year is very different from my room last year and the majority of rooms in Memorial Court, most of them have a separate bedroom and lounge and obviously this one is all in one. I also have the disabled room this year so there are lots of features in this room that are designed to make my life a lot easier. I actually have a really nice view this year which would be lovely if it wasn't for these metal bars and the fact that my windows are sort of glazed over so I can't actually see this the majority of the time and it also leaves my room quite dark. One thing I do like about my windows though is that in front of my desk I do have this really nice view of the university library. And what is a university room without some potted plants? In terms of storage space I have this chest of drawers and then above it I have three bookshelves. And on here I also keep my Claire mug which I got given last year. I also like decorating my bookshelf with things that I've been given by friends and family. And I have to say that my favourite is my little bookworm. For clothes storage, I also have this wardrobe, which you have to bring your own hangers for. And I use this shelf space to store long life food. And I've attempted to convert this into a little seating area, but this is a lockable box underneath. And I've put this tapestry-esque thing on the box and also a similar one on the floor as a sort of rug. I feel like rugs and things like that make these rooms just a lot more homely but I may have gone a little bit excessive on the mandala print. One of the things I really don't like about this room is the fact that we have this massive gap behind the box. I've kind of used it as a storage space, but it means the box can't be converted into a sofa and it just kind of takes up a lot of space in the room. It's just an awkward place. I also moved the cabinet because it was originally under the window. So I swapped the chair and the cabinet around. In this corner, I've also added my own washing basket. That one's from Ikea. I also really like that the chair is red this year. I just feel like it fits my decor a lot better. My friend Lydia found this cushion for me last year and it's become a staple of my Cambridge room. I think it's so funny. This room is a bit gross in terms of the amount of stains that's on the carpet. My rug, thankfully, covers most of them. But yeah, these stains are not me. <laughs> For medical reasons, I have a fridge in my room and I didn't like how plain it was last year so I've added some magnets. I got these two over the summer and my friend Maddie got me these ones for my birthday. And then above here I have my library books and some tissues because fresh as flu. And then we have one of my favourite features of Memorial Court rooms, it is the fireplace. And this vase my dad made me, it's made from the Prosecco bottle that I got showered with when I finished first year. 
And excuse the fact that my flowers are slightly dead, but this vase my friend Theo got me. And these two little mushroom guys still need names, so comment below some ideas for me. And then this is the bed area. I've tried to keep it sort of separate from the educational and study area that is the rest of my room. So on this pin board, I have postcards that I've been sent from friends and little bits of artwork that I've collected on my travels and things like that. Like I have this David Attenborough poster that my friend Maddie sent me in the post and these New Yorker postcards that I got from the market and this Alfred Wallace one that I got from Kettle's Yard last year and these tea puns that I got sent from my friend Phoebe. Basically they're all really pretty but also really personal. And then on this side I have photos with my friends and my family and I also have this painting that I did. In terms of my bed, I've used my own duvet and pillows. I have this blanket to keep me warm because it gets freezing in these rooms. I have these peach bed sheets from Urban Outfitters and that is Archie the Avocado and Tony the Turtle. Also a big fan of the fact that my bed is next to the radiator this year so that I can stay warm. And I've decided to use this random bit of wood to put my show posters on this year. I currently only have one, but I'm determined to get more. Like last year, I also have an ensuite Though this year it is a wet room and it comes with features to aid people with disabilities. And then this is my shared kitchen, which in college is called a jip room. It is bigger than my one from last year, but that is because it is shared between a lot more people. So features are this fridge, which is shared between, I think, five of us, a microwave and a kettle. And then we each have some cupboard space. And then we have these honestly useless hobs. They're either far too cold or they'll just burn your food. And then we also have a toaster, but no oven. And I've put in a lot of work to make my room feel cozy and really nice at night time. I've invested in a significant amount of fairy lights, so I thought I'd finish the video by showing what it looks like in the evening. for watching i hope you have enjoyed watching this room tour please do give it a big thumbs up if you have and subscribe if you are new around here every like and follow really helps me out a lot and means a lot to me i hope this has given you guys some ideas maybe on how to decorate your own university room or that it has helped any prospective students apply into clare college because i know that there is like nothing out there to show you what these rooms look like i'm sorry i can't show you what more types of rooms look like but i hope that my room tour from last year and my room tour for this year can at least give you guys some sort of idea so you're not just moving here completely blind certainly my room tour from last year is a very typical sort of room that first years will get at memorial court in clare college please as ever do comment below any videos that you would like to see from me and i hope you guys are all enjoying term at university or enjoying the beginning of autumn and I hope you're all keeping well and I will see you all again very soon.